earlier, I'd like to talk about ties. So a tie is when a piece is tied in defence to another piece or defending against something else and that can be taken advantage of. The simplest way to take advantage of a tied piece is to swap it off or exchange it off. So here, bishop takes the knight, pawn takes the bishop. Now there's nothing defending the pawn anymore because the defending knight has been swapped off so the rook can win the pawn. So another, another way to take advantage of a tied piece is by attacking it and driving it away. So here the rook attacks the bishop, the knight defends the bishop, so the pawn moves forward scaring off the knight and whatever black moves he'll lose material. A third way of taking advantage of a tie is when it's overloaded. So in this position the white queen attacks the rook, the black queen defends it, the white rook threatens checkmate or attacks a square which would be checkmate, but the uh, queen is defending it. So this queen is overloaded, overloaded, it's doing too many things, it's defending the square and the rook, it cannot do both. So white takes the queen, taking advantage of the fact that the black queen is tied down to defending the mating square. So white has won a rook. If the queen takes it, white can checkmate. So sometimes the defending piece is just doing too many things. So we have, in this case, the king is tied down to defending the queen. So the king can be an easy piece to deflect. So a tie down piece can be a liability because you can check it to drive it away. So that gives the defender a few choices, fewer choices. So the bishop gives a check, which happens to be a skewer as well. King takes it, and there's nothing defending the queen. So so this is the same thing but we've added a move. So the bishop gives a check, which is a discovered attack on the queen as well. King moves back to defend the queen and now we can take advantage of the king being tied down by the bishop check. Takes the bishop and you get a free queen. Well, it wasn't free, you had to pay a bishop for it. Okay, so now we have um, kind of tie where you attack both pieces at the same time. So it's a sort of fork as well. So it's queen gives check and the king's been driven away from the knight. So it's a kind of a tie, but it's also a fork because the queen attacks the knight and king at the same time. The king moves away and we white wins a free knight. Okay, so so here we've got a situation where two knights defend each other. I mean this knight's defended twice but strangely enough and attacked once but white can gain material because when he takes a knight, the king takes, black has lost two defenders of the knight. So white gains two pieces for a rook which is quite good. Okay, so now the rook attacks the rook, but the rook is defended by the knight. But white's got a fancy move here. He destroys the defender of the knight and guards his own rook at the same time. So if the rook would take the rook, the pawn would take the rook back. So here, here white, the white queen attacks the black queen. The black king is tied in defence, so we... We check it to drive it away, and when the king moves, we'll get a get a queen. And here, rook attacks the rook, the king defends the rook. We check it with a pawn to drive the king away and win the rook. So say the king takes it, we get a free rook. And again, king's tied to the rook, so we check it away and, and win the rook. And here, rook attacks the rook, but it's defended by the knight, so we capture the uh, tied knight and at the same time defending the rook. So if black tries, rook takes rook. We've got bishop takes rook, and the bishop escapes. If the white rook had been somewhere else, this would not work. So pawn takes bishop, rook takes rook, and white has gained material. Next position. So what have we got here? Rook attacks the bishop, rook defends the bishop, bishop take, attacks the knight, bishop defends the knight. This wouldn't really lead to anything, because then the bishop would defend the rook. But white destroys the defence of the knight, 
and then wins two pieces for a rook, which is a gain of about a pawn, or a little bit more than a pawn. So here we have, again, we've got two knights defending each other. Earlier we had the king there, well, now we have the queen. It comes to pretty much the same thing. Rook takes knight, and white ends up winning two pieces for a rook. Now we have a possible discovered discovery on this line. So um, we swap off unblocking the bishop. So sometimes you can take advantage of a tie of a capture. When the, when the rook retakes, the knight is undefended. So white gets a free knight. So here, bishop attacks the knight. These two guard it. Looks pretty safe. So what white does, he destroys one defender. The other one's deflected. And then we get, a, we get two pieces for the rook. So now, this pawn's overloaded. It's defending two things. So white swaps rooks and gets a bishop as well. So rook attacks the knight, the knight's well defended, so we sack first. Sack the exchange, and we get two pieces for a rook. Now we have bishop guards the knight. Rook attacks, but the knight's safe. Bishop, The bishop's safe, but if we sack the exchange, there is nothing defending the knight. So we get two pieces for a rook. Now this is similar. This knight's defended twice, the bishop's defended, so we sack the exchange. Now the second knight, or the other piece, is undefended. So again, we get uh, two pieces for a rook. Okay, now we have rook attacks bishop, knight defends bishop. Rook attacks knight, knight defends knight. This knight is overloaded, it's doing too many things. So we'll sack the... Uh, Exchange, the knight takes, and we win the other one. So again, white gets two pieces for a rook. So, similar to what we had before, king's tied to the queen, so we, uh, we check, or we could have gone on an e6, that would have been better in this position, and win the queen for bishop. And we're going to do an exchange, and the, so in this position, the king's defending this, so the king's tied down, because of this uh, possible discovery with the rook. So white exchanges, and nothing is left to guard the bishop. So white has won a bishop. So here, white gives a check, forcing the king away. And so it's a rook and a tie together, really. And then white has won a rook. Again, king is defending the queen. We can uh, deflect the king and win the queen. Again, this time we use a rook to deflect the king. This time, it takes a couple of moves to drive the king away. So we give a check, say if white black tries to hang on. We didn't give another check. That's a skewer, and there's no way he can not take the rook now. So he takes it, and he's lost the queen for a rook. Now we have um, yeah, similar sort of thing. This time the queen's attacked on the diagonal, so we deflect the king. Oh, we can check it first. Oh, we could have done rook check straight away. That was probably better if the queen had started on a different square. Okay, queen drops back, rook goes in, and king must take it, and white wins the queen. Okay, so this is a trick worth knowing. So rook attacks rook, king defends rook. So what we do is we do a skewer. Paul must block to stop a skewer. Now, we could swap rooks and win a pawn, but it's much better to change the move order and take the pawn first. And now, king takes, we've won the exchange and a pawn. So, the king was overloaded in that position. So, we do the action replay if you like. Bishop check, pawn up, bishop takes pawn, king takes, rook takes rook. Okay, so we start off with a queen check. Queen must block, and now we deflect the king by the pawn check and win the queen. So, this is a bit of a funny one. Combining a few ideas, we've got a potential discovered attack on the queen here. The bishop moves out of the way, especially if it moves out of the way, we check. And, ew. 
there's an error here. There should be a pawn here because this rook is pinning the bishop to the king. Otherwise, we can just take this rook. So queen takes the uh, rook, check. Bishop takes, and this is an illegal position. Because just imagine there's a pawn there. So now the um, bishop takes the pawn check, winning the queen, and king takes, and we have won a queen. So now we have, oh, this is fun and games. Rook attacks rook, bishop defends rook. Rook attacks bishop, rook defends. If this rook takes, the bishop will take, defending the other rook. But what white does is he sacrifices the exchange, and it's, it's what we used to call the piston effect. So if black takes one rook, we take the other one. So white has one material. Okay, now what have we got here? So we've got, uh, we start off with a skewer. The queen must keep the, both rooks defended. Now the rook takes, the queen is now overloaded, so the rook exchanges and white wins material. So that was um, some exam examples of the basics of tied pieces. There's um, three main ways to exploit a tied piece. You can take it, you can attack it, or you can overload it. Okay, so thank you for watching.